Hello, this is Chris with Pixelfreak.com, and today we're taking a look at Gameville's new game, Punch Hero. So this game has been out for a while on iOS. It just came out in the last couple weeks on Android. I started playing it a little bit, and I was kind of like, oh, this game's kind of hard. I'm not sure how much I like this game. It looks like it's going to be another dud. Got the hang of it, and this game's freaking amazing. So I've played through the... Um, the regular mode, and I'm about halfway through it on my phone. I This is actually recorded on my tablet. And here I actually started a new character, I'll show you how the whole thing goes through, and then play the first few characters to show you how the game works. So here you go, the logo looks kind of similar to like Super Punch-Out, but only in 3D. So you start out, make your character's name, and here there's no keyboard because this is on my tablet and I have a, a keyboard there. So there's no virtual keyboard I should say. Pixel with the blue gloves. And no chest hair. Very manly. Very manly with no chest hair. You get your choice of countries. And which random one will I be today? When I first started out, I was from Venezuela. And then I actually did one from USA. And now today I'm going to pick... Where will it be? Japan. I'm going to pick Japan. So I'm Japanese today. We're going to go ahead and jump right into the arcade mode and show you how that goes. That's kind of the meat of this game. That's that's really where all the action takes place. So you can see the uh, new challengers are yet to be unlocked, but we'll start out with Jones. And they kind of give you this uh, tutorial here. I'll show you tapping on the left. There's a left jab, tapping on the right. It's a right jab. Left swipe is left hook. Right swipe is right hook. And then you've got like, this diagonal thing that's uh, an uppercut. So that's your, that's your moves. And then you get uh, dodge left and right, and then you get a block as well. And the block is touching both sides at the same time. All right, let's get this action going. So the game's actually gonna look very easy for the first few fighters because I've played the crap out of this game and I've gotten kind of good at it. So here's Jones, and this is a video of Jones getting his ass straight up whooped. So that Japanese guy in the blue gloves, kicking the crap out of Jones. That's me. So, the way this works, it's almost like a rock, paper, scissors type of deal, only not like a rock, paper, scissors type of deal. So a jab can is quick, cannot hardly be dodged, but if you're doing a hook or an uppercut, you will continue to do the hook or uppercut even if you're hit by a jab. So jabbing somebody while they're doing one of those moves is pretty stupid because they're gonna punch you in the face anyways hard. If you do a hook, a hook can stop an uppercut, um, but doesn't hit very hard and very rarely will dizzy somebody. And you'll see the dizzy mode. Oh, you've already seen Jones go and do it one time because I'm so ruthlessly beating his ass. Hey, look, Jones is on the floor again. Way to go, Jones. Hey, look, my energy is all full. That's crazy how that works. Anyways, uppercuts, though the most epic, take the most time to charge up to do. So it's really easy to dodge an uppercut, but you can't block uppercuts. So there's kind of all these caveats of you can throw a hook this time and throw a, an uppercut that time. Add in the dodges to this whole mix, and it makes things really kind of complicated. And makes the gameplay actually really smooth. I really like, I really like the gameplay due to the uh, dodge ability. So in the middle of any move, your your hooks or your uppercuts, you can dodge right in the middle of it. So it's kind of cool because you can actually spam uppercuts if you want to. And I'm not talking about any of these parts of the game because I'll get back to them, what's going on on the screen right now. You can just watch that. Anyways, if you start to do an uppercut and then you see your opponent start to do an uppercut, you can quickly dodge. Now the key to an effective dodge is watch him when he does one of his power moves. There you go. I had to dodge to the right really quick when he because he was throwing a left uh, or left uppercut. If he throws a left uppercut, I have to do a right dodge. If he throws a right hook, I have to do a left dodge. See, I barely got my dodge in there right at the last second. So the trick is to just kind of wail on him, but do your dodges as soon as you see him throw a move, aside from a jab. If he throws a jab, screw him. You're just going to punch him in the face anyways. The cool thing is, is if he throws a hook or an uppercut, and you're able to dodge and then hit strike back fast enough, you'll actually get like a critical hit. And if he just stands there looking stupid, you're going to continue pounding him in the face. And that's why he's got a broken nose and will maintain that broken nose. Hey look, he's on the floor. Silly Jamaican, you're not supposed to be sleeping. This is a boxing match. 
Oh, man. He's seeing chickens. Rage Gauge. So the Rage Gauge uh, builds up while you're getting punched in the face or punching other guys in the face, and it makes you punch people in the face even harder. Go, dude, go. There's not a lot of strategy for the first two or three fights. Uh, they mostly, actually, I kind of think that the fights, the first two or three fights are actually a little harder because they don't throw a lot of punches at you, so it's harder to get those critical hits in. After those first few fights, they start to throw bigger punches, so it's easier to dodge, but then a little farther into the game, they start to do uh, special punches. And those special punches, they a lot of times will hit really, really hard. Ooh, barely dodged that one. Take chickens. Ooh, and he's down. Uh, those special hit hits, they do really big damage like hooks and uppercuts, only they move as fast as jabs. Now the way that those work is you can actually purchase them. Your enemies will do them on their own. Yes, they'll own those skills. You can purchase those skills uh, with the money you accumulate throughout the game, and they, they randomly activate. So certain, certain ones, when you do a hook, they'll randomly do like a super side jab thing. Here you have upgrade points. You can see I've already done one. You've probably watched me play through that once. Uh, for every level you get and your guy does level up, you get to put points into your different uh, abilities. Your jab, your hook, your uppercut, your health, and your mentality. Mentality allows you not to get dizzy. Health allows you to stay up on your feet longer. And then all three of your attacks allow you to hit harder with all your punches. As you level up the skills there, per levels, you're able to buy new skills. So for instance, after, you're a, after you've put five points in uppercut, you're able to buy a skill called Quick Uppercut, which is something I actually buy a little bit later, and I'll explain a little bit more uh, when we get to that part of the video. For now, I'm going to pound the shit out of Pierre. Oh, come on, Pierre. You've got blue gloves like me. You've got blue gloves. Come on, blue gloves. Oh, that was almost punch for punch, and instead, Fringy hits the floor. So what you're seeing me uh, do here is you actually recover faster from an uppercut if you dodge right afterwards. So if you throw it, if you throw an uppercut and right when it connects, dodge and then uppercut again right away, you can actually get faster uppercuts off uh, in succession. It works really well when somebody's in dizzy. Only if you do it right though. I, I see I just missed a punch because I dodged too quickly. Once you get your kind of mojo down, it's, it's pretty easy to just lay guys flat. Come on, Pierre. Oh, and he got knocked out. So at some point in time, you'll actually see me get through more than one round. But for now, we're just pummeling guys. The first real challenge uh, of an opponent is Luis, and I think he's another enemy or two ahead. Uh, as I'm clicking through there, you actually see that I'm awarded uh, different achievements. One is to defeat your opponent. You also get extra points for dominating your opponent. And so far, I think I've dominated everybody, but I'm not sure that I dominate this guy. I am recording uh, my voice, my comments here, after the fact. I wanted to play the game and actually do good. This is one of those games definitely takes a lot of concentration to play the game. Augusta. It's funny, whenever I play this game, I always got in my head that episode of South Park with Ned. What you got, Biatch? What you got, Biatch? So he's not doing a whole lot. He's actually taking a lot of health off me, though. I don't think I would get the dominate on this guy. Ooh, and that was a special attack there, I think. That was a special hook. Yeah, the first real challenge is Luis, and part of it is because he's a little quicker, and part of it is also because he has special a special attack that he uses quite often. It's a hook. So it's a little rougher because you just kind of have to dodge and hope that you don't get hit too often with this hook. You'll see what I mean here a little bit later in the video. When I was recording this, I actually went straight through to Luis, and then it took me about three tries to beat him just because he is kind of this next level character. A couple characters after him aren't too bad. 
the guy directly uh, preceding him, the guy direct, directly after him, actually requires a lot of hooks. Defeat Acosta. Yeah, see, I didn't get my dominate that time because I only got a defense score of B. However, Brooklyn, Brooklyn just gets beat down. Poor Brooklyn. He wanted to be good. He just saw chickens. See, now I'm just messing with him. Oh, am I going to uppercut you? I don't think so. Maybe. Yes. Ooh, punch in the face. And there I go, employing the quick uppercut method again. Ooh, I should have dodged that one. And instead, we're just going to punch him in the face a few more times. Ooh, good move on dodging that one. Ooh, sucks for him. There's actually an ability as well, a skill, I should say, that allows you to regenerate your health. And it, it has, like, one tick per three seconds. Luis's is actually pretty burly. It's part of the reason why Luis is not easy to defeat. Oh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, what are you doing? Oh, and you're dead. Poor little guy. I don't think you're going to get back up. Tell your mom I love her. And that's how you dominate Brooklyn. Level five. Dominated. So I do go to the shop eventually. I don't spend any money in the shop until after I've gotten through Luis, which is actually the spot that I stop with the regular campaign. So Rayen, which is how I'm pronouncing this guy's name, this guy is my grinding punching bag. So on my phone, I've probably played this guy a good 30 times just to get a little extra experience, a little extra cash. Generally speaking, when you play an old character uh, just for fun of it, this is funny because he definitely doesn't usually do this good against me. Anyways, uh, when you play an old guy just to grind up, you'll usually get about 50 coins, which is very little. So grinding takes a very long time if you're not going to go buy currency. Both currencies are earned in-game, though the gold is the only currency that you can actually repeatedly earn. The cash is only awarded here and there and in small quantities. So anything that you have to buy with the cash currency, the dollar bills, you're going to have to buy that cash uh, with real money. Such is the way the Gameville games work. Being a freemium game though, this one actually has caught my attention because with some good skill, you can actually get pretty far in the game. And it's actually a pretty entertaining game. I like it quite a bit. I'll actually end up doing a full review on this game on the website at some point in time. Um, but for now, my review here just says, go play this one. It's free, it's pretty nice, it's, it's a pretty easy game. So here's Luis, and we cut straight to the one that I win, even though a couple times playing him before this, I didn't win. Not starting out good, Chris, not starting out good, come on. Gotta use the Japanese strength. You're Japanese, dude, you can do this. Let's see if he does. I don't know if maybe he's done that special hook or not. Oh, he didn't do it there. He didn't do it there either. Ooh. It's rare for Luis to do uppercuts. He doesn't do them a lot. A lot of other characters do more uppercuts. And the reason he does so many, or doesn't do so many uppercuts and does a lot of hooks, is because he's trying to activate that special skill. But instead, he sees chickens. Oh, that was a lucky shot for me. Put him on the ground, and he's down. Wonder why he's wearing flowers. That's kind of weird. And that's, that's not normal boxing attire. What trunks are you going to wear? I'm going to wear the red ones, and I would like flowers. And you see, he's gaining his health back here pretty quick. Oh, that was a good dodge. Awesome. So this is what happens when you go through another round. Everybody's health goes back up to where the full red bars get covered with yellow. And then they keep going. Got a huge advantage on him right now. But I think 
He ends up catching up and almost knocks me down. Yeah, see right here, he does hits, hits me on a good couple hits, and I still knock him out. That's what happens. You put your guard down for two seconds, and they'll land a few hits on you, damn near kill you. But instead, he's going to sleep. So aside from that mode, there is actually a zombie mode as well, where your character data is dumped into a big pool, and then you fight against a whole bunch of zombies of what I'm assuming is other players out in the world. So let's go ahead and take a look at that mode. Who you on? I don't actually fight him. I go straight to purchase. No, no purchasing. Come on now. Okay, we go straight to... All right, zombie mode. Here we go. Boxer zombies. So you can see lots of people have kicked lots of ass. I suck at this mode, so let's watch me get my ass kicked. So the first few go down really fast. See, that's what happens when I go down real fast on the third guy. <laughs> that's like my worst ever. All right, so let's try this again. I think I make it a few more in. Ooh, a single jab killed that guy. Ooh, uppercut to that guy's chops. You can see too all these different zombies, they all have different looks, and I'm what I'm assuming is that they're all character data from other people around the world, and I'm pretty sure they've just changed their character to look those ways. Your character is highly customizable. A lot of the customizations actually cost money. Uh, I don't cover that in this video, but just know that it exists. So I only got to five on that one. Five is also really bad. A decent run for me is about ten, and I think I get to about nine on this one. So I just killed Batman. Or I'm... No, I just killed Batman. And now Carlos died, and now No Name's gonna die. Come on. Sorry. Is that a baby? Did I just hear a baby cry? What do babies and zombies have anything to do with each other? Demon. That's a baby. Bernard. Leonardo. Hey, one of the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, he's dead. Batman again. I just killed Batman. Die, Batman. Eh, Superman. Superman was after Batman, and apparently Superman is better than Batman because Superman killed me. So that's zombie mode. Uh, you can see lots of people have made a lot more points than me. So, the training center. Training center, you can receive training. Here you can actually automatically level up your skills if you'd like to. You can also automatically level up your character. I don't think you have to do that here, but you can do it in other places. You can pay to level your guy up. You can pay to level up, you can pay for status points, and you can pay for levels. So here, I'm gonna upgrade my uppercut. Just once though, because this allows me, by having that fifth level, it allows me to do the quick uppercut, and I wanna show you that. So, now I'm gonna go back out and go to the skill shop. And in the skill shop, you can get all these different skills. There's all kinds of stuff like dragon uppercuts and super mega awesome combos and those cheap ass jabs that Luis does. But I'm going to buy a few levels in super quick uppercut. Going up by 4% and up by 6%. So 6% increase in the uppercut. Let's go ahead and demo it out. Let's go to my favorite punching bag, Reagan. And not buy gold. Come on. <laughs> Watch me just lay into this guy. So this is normally what happens with Rayan. He sees chickens, and then I punch him in the face. And then he sees chickens again, and then I punch him in the face again. Oh, Rayan, you're my little bitch. And you're down. So I'm not sure if he actually got a chance to breathe in between my punches to his face. I might as well just be kicking him in the groin because the effect is similar. Oof. Oh. And he's down again. Is he going to get up? Oh, he's going to get up. All right, one more time. Let's give it right in the face. Yeah, dodge, ooh, punch. And tell your mom I love her. Sorry, Ryan. Poor guy. 
So that's the super quick uppercut. You can see my uppercuts were actually 6% faster. You may not have seen that. You can feel it in the game. In the gameplay, you can actually feel each upgrade because you get used to how fast your punches are supposed to be. So when, once you start upgrading them, your, your character speed, it just, you can feel it in the gameplay. So now I've dominated Rayan. And I have more money. So that is Punch Hero. I didn't quite show you everything, but I showed you most of everything. Go check this one out on iTunes and on Google Play. This is a pretty sweet game. Highly recommend it. You probably won't finish it because by the time you get towards the end of the game, the guys get so incredibly hard. Um, yeah, it's just you're going to have to dump tons of money. There's actually some additional modes. There's some league play later on. You have to go a little bit farther in the game to unlock those. Also pretty sweet. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our website. And until next time, this has been Chris with PixelFreak.com.